Millions of people in Southern California face an extreme red flag warning about fire conditions for the first time ever. This is a big deal. A fire that just erupted forced new evacuations in Simi Valley that's near the Reagan Presidential Library. Crews in Northern California battling the massive Kincaid fire are facing heavy wind. That fire is damaged or destroyed about 200 homes and other buildings in the area. The Kincaid fire is one of about a dozen wildfires burning throughout California. Santa Ana winds in Southern California could gust to 80 miles an hour. About one and a half million people statewide are without power as utilities try to prevent new fires. Jonathan Vigliani is in Healdsburg, California, where signs of the fire are seen everywhere. Jonathan, good morning. And good morning to you, Anthony. And unfortunately, uh, this has become the new normal. Scenes like this, this is actually what's left of a vineyard that was destroyed by the fire on Sunday. The concern was high winds overnight would further destroy more buildings. The gusts reaching about 60 miles per hour. They have calmed down a bit at this hour. There are still thousands of firefighters working 24-hour shifts to put out those hot spots. All of this as thousands of people remain in shelters, some for the third night in a row. As the Kincaid fire continued to grow with no new containment in sight, flames late Tuesday were visible from San Francisco, some 70 miles away. We can confirm 189 structures have now been destroyed. 86 of those are single family dwellings. And as high winds threatened to widen the fire's reach, Colleen Murray and her young children spent another night as evacuees for the second time in two years. We've been out of the house since Saturday, so it's been a little rough um, in the van with all the kids, and it's kind of cold at night, but. Other than that, it's good. She's one of more than 150,000 people displaced by the Kincaid fire, many streaming into shelters unsure when they can go home. Jill Champion evacuated with her three dogs. Do you worry this is the new norm for you? Uh, yeah, actually, I think I'm thinking, you know, is this what we're going to go through every summer now? It's kind of scary when, you know, it seems like one is worse than the one behind it. But California Governor Gavin Newsom tells CBS this morning this scenario cannot be the new normal. 200,000 people at peak were evacuated. Seniors with deep medical conditions, uh, need of oxygen and medications that they weren't able to source. This is serious scope and serious scale. The area's nearly $2.2 billion tourism industry is also feeling an impact. Towns in wine country are now empty during the height of the season. You're talking about tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars of loss. So if we don't have people show up, we don't have the income to pay for our staff. And we talk about the new normal. Think about this. 3,000 people, we are told, remain in 20 shelters tonight. Officials asking for their continued patience. They say the evacuations won't be lifted until they get a better handle, an idea of where this fire is going. It could take another week, Tony, before it is fully contained. Thinking about those people in shelters in the 86 single-family homes, no homes to go back to. Jonathan, thank you very much.